problem is stated as followed. Acme produces widgets. They have fixed monthly expenses of $1,800, and they also have variable expenses of $13 for each widget that they make. Acme then sells each widget for $20. Part A asks us to find a cost function for Acme. The cost function will be made up of the fixed costs of $1,800 plus an additional $13 for each widget that they produce. So the output of the function is the total cost the input of the function is the number of widgets that they make. The cost will depend on the number of widgets that they make. So in this case, total cost C is $1,800 to start plus $13 for each widget they make. So we would take 13 times the number of widgets that they make. There's our cost function. Revenue is defined as price times the number of widgets sold. So price times number of widgets. In part A, we define W as the number of widgets. So our revenue will be price times W. If I define R as the revenue earned in dollars, and we already have that W is number of widgets, then our revenue function is price, which they said was $20 that they sell their widgets for, times W. Price is 20 times the number of widgets they sell is W. Profit. Again, we define our variables. P is going to be profit in dollars. And W, again, is number of widgets that they both produce and the number of widgets they sell. In this problem, we're going to just assume this is a very simplistic model that every one that they produce, they also sell, which isn't really true in real life, but we're going to make it a nice, simple model in this situation. So, first I could just note that their profit is the amount of money they bring in, their revenue, minus the amount of money they had to pay out, their costs. So, P, their profit, is 20W, which was the revenue, minus 1800 plus 13W, which was the cost function. So revenue function minus cost function. So that comes out to 7W minus 1800. Part D asks us how many do they need to sell to break even. Breaking even means the profit is zero. Another way to think about breaking even, breaking even means the amount of money they bring in equals the amount of money that they spent. So that's where revenue equals cost. So to figure this out, we would have the profit equation, and we're saying breaking even occurs when profit is zero. So I replace P with zero. And then I solve for W to find out the number of widgets they need to sell to break even. And on the calculator, 1800 divided by seven is approximately 257. So we would conclude by saying they break even by selling approximately 
257 widgets.